Hi and welcome to another Cyvex help video. This help video is on the ability to monitor your position on the track and create track maps. Uh, this is a really useful feature for not only circuit cars but can be really useful for drag cars to see exactly where they are on a particular part of the track. So in order for this to actually work you first of all need to have generally speaking a GPS sensor fitted to the ECU. Now we make a Cyvex 50 Hertz uh, GPS which can be found on our website which is really good for this because it offers a really fast update rate. Uh, the other way you can actually get around doing this is if you've got a beacon input. So a lot of the motorsport tracks around the world actually have beacon sensors on them um, and if you've got a beacon pickup uh, sensor that you feed into an input of the ECU you can then use that as well as the longitudinal and lateral G sensor. Uh, with your ABS system. Um, it's pretty good that way of working but the ultimate way and the best way of doing it is with a GPS sensor because it can not only exactly know pinpoint where you are in the circuit, um, it provides a lot more valuable data which I'll get into now. So first of all we need to obviously, I'm going to grab a log here that's actually got uh, GPS data in it. So this is a car on a circuit, uh, I'm not sure about whereabouts it is in the world but uh, we could easily find that by looking at the uh, GPS information if needs be. But what I'm actually interested in is just making sure, first of all, that it actually has the channels for the GPS logged. So I just went to channel add, and then I can see there that all the GPS values are there and present, which is the first step in ensuring that we can use the track map tool. Next, go to track map, and then in this instance, we're actually going to go to make. So what that does is instantly then it grabs from the GPS data the position of where the actual vehicle has been on the track and as you can see it's drawn the actual circuit out for us. Now one of the main questions we get asked in support is then how do we set a beacon point and it's not entirely uh, obvious so this is the point of this video to basically ensure that we basically help customers in getting it done if they can't get instant in support. So what you actually want to do is like I say if you haven't got a beacon input actually wired into the ECU and you've just got the GPS sensor what you need to do is actually set a beacon input. Now to do that, you actually right click on the, the, mouse, uh, on the, right -click on the mouse, and then what you can do is you can, there's a few options here on how we can, you can do your beacon. So you can do it by a line I'm drawing on the track, you can do it based on a distance from the track, or based on a GPS position. Generally speaking, a mouse line is really simple. Uh, if you know where you want to be starting the actual um, the lap times from, uh, you can do that, or if you actually know where on the, the map the actual uh, the start finish line is and you've got the GPS data for that then you can actually feed that in there but generally speaking if a track has actually got a beacon sensor on it uh, on the actual circuit it will always be on the start finish line generally so I'm just going to imagine that the start finish line is here I'm just going to draw a line here and have set my beacon input you can see then from there that it's actually betrayed the lap then uh, here and you can see in the pits here etc it's grayed it out once you've done that, you can now actually grab that and dock it. So you can either have it just floating in, in air here, or you can choose the dock option. And what that does is it just docks it on the right-hand side, which is generally the best way of doing it. Now, as you go through the, the log now, you can actually see where it's actually being shown on the track, whereabouts on the track they are at that given point. What's really useful now is that now you actually can see your slip rate and time slip based on your fastest lap. So if you were to go to track map or lap, sorry, you can see the F here basically is betraying the fastest lap that this customer did. So when you click on that, you can see it's all green because that is what the, um, the lap time, time slip and slip rate is basing it off. So when you then click on another lap, for example, let's say a slower lap here, you'll be able to see then where time has been lost. So at this particular point here, the, the client was maybe braking uh, not as heavy. And, uh, and hence basically it was slower um, at this point here. Now one thing that's really useful as well to point out is if you are looking to analyze say data from particular points of like engine vitals, under track map you can go color by an item. So let's say you want to look at the air charge temp and see in the lap where the actual intercooler system on a turbocharged car particularly say is working well. Uh, you can see here at the end of the main straight as the car's accelerating down basically at the end of the straight it's obviously getting the hottest at this given point 
then as it goes through the slower section here and starts to get some air going back through the core and it's not under load as much you'll then see that it starts to cool down and at the start of the run it's nice and cool so that intercooler setup is actually working really well there uh, and you can do the same then if you go to lap and and track map sorry and look at item let's say if you want to look at coolant temp brake pressure uh, to see exactly where um, things can be improved and overlay them you can also open reports uh, and do XY plots and uh, and histograms etc to to get even more data from the from the the actual log that you've got